today's topic so today guys we are going to be watching a video um pretty alarming video i should say where um as you know in this part of the channel we talk about or part of youtube we talk about religion the bible we talk about the spirit of prophecy we talk about marriage divorce uh as of right now we are looking at a book called letters to young lovers what a young man should look for in a wife we also do videos uh, reaction videos of what's going on in the world where i also give you guys a a biblical perspective of um, the worldly view as well today we have a pretty alarming video that was sent out and i think for the the christians community not the one that have the label but those that are actually living living the christian lifestyle at least to their best to the best of their ability um i think we need to be careful on not letting our children watch certain things and what i mean by that is it's not that you don't want them to not watch things but you should teach them the consequences of partaking of that kind of lifestyle because many parents do that where they kind of put the child in a prison and they, it, they don't teach the children about what's out in the world to inform them of the possibilities of heartache and headache and all the issues that might happen but they keep them inside sheltering them from knowing what outside for fear that they might become like the world well let me tell you when you don't teach your children what the world is doing that is wrong and when they learn it from those in the world they are only going to get the worldly point of view and because of that when you try to give them your point of view or the biblical point of view if you never give them an example of the biblical of the biblical aspect they are going to be turned like uh, the world so without further talking Let's start with what we have to find out today on this video. Let's start cooking. Oh, really? As we celebrate pride on the progress we've made over these past years, there's still work to be done. So to those of you out there who are still working against equal rights, we have a message for you. So, they got a song called a message from the gay community hmm. let's see you think we're sinful you fight against our rights you say we all lead lives you can't respect but you're just frightened you think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked. 
funny just this once you're correct we'll convert your children happens bit by bit quietly and subtly and you will barely notice it you can keep them from disco warn about san francisco make them wear pleated pants we don't care convert your children we'll make them tolerant and fair all right so um so far i think i think you've got the message so far and I, I'm, I, I'm i'm hoping that at least you guys uh do watch this particular video all the way through because you're gonna be realizing what's going on Especially the Christian parents. Now, I don't want people to hate people. You know, so here's the thing. Many people, what they do is they hate people. No. You're not supposed to be hating people, alright? That's not what you should do. Because when you hate people, it shows that you don't value human life. What you need to hate, one, is Satan and his demons. Two, the lifestyle that Satan is promoting through these people. The people are not the problem. It is the lifestyle that we need to be careful about. You see, people hate gays and homosexuals. Yes, I know the Bible says in Leviticus 18 verse 22 and also other part of the Bible where it talks about if a man lies down with a man as he would lie with a woman, he has committed an abomination. Yes, that's not even sinning. You see, he says we are, you think we are sinful. That's actually beyond sinful. That's like an abomination. And there are levels of sins. You know, there is sins. There is iniquities. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me quickly, um, let me quickly, uh, do this. Because I think I'm going to have to look for it right now while I'm talking to you. Because once you see it, there are levels of there are levels of sin. Let me quickly go to the Bible right here. Let me go to Ezekiel. Okay, let me go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel twenty eight. No, not twenty eight. Not twenty eight. Uh, not 28. Ezekiel chapter 8, actually. It's not 28, it's 8. Ezekiel chapter 8. So, there are sins and there are iniquities. And then after iniquity, you have in Leviticus 18, you got abomination. Okay? Now, in Ezekiel chapter 8, and if you've never read this chapter, uh, this is something you have to consider. Ezekiel chapter 8. Hmm. He talks about abominations. So you see, he said in verse number 6, that's Ezekiel speaking. He said furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committed here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, this is God, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. So you see, there is sin. There is sin. Actually, I didn't give you guys there. Ezekiel chapter 
I should have been that show that to you. There is sin, there is iniquities, then you have abominations, and now you have great abominations. Okay? We got great abomination. Let me make it bigger. We got great abomination. And then verse number six again both finishes with greater abominations. After that, in verse number nine, you have wicked abomination. And after wicked abomination, <laughs> you have even greater abomination. So there are greater wicked, basically, abomination. And after that, you have greater than these abomination. So there are levels to that. And of course, you have the last one, which is the worshiping the sun, which is the greatest abomination. So guys, here's the thing. When we talk about um, sinful, sinful is like something that you do and that you are soulful for doing and you repent. Iniquity is like when you start enjoying doing it. Abomination is when you go against nature, totally against nature, meaning what the natural thing is. By nature, we like to commit adultery. By nature, we like to commit uh, fraud. But by nature, we are not going out and have sex with the same sex. You see, that's against nature now. So anything that we do against nature is basically an abomination. And so when he says, you think we are sinful? No, it's not that you are sinful. It's what you are promoting is actually an abomination. And no, I'm not talking down on him, but that's just what the reality actually is. Let's keep it going. At first, I didn't get why you'd be so scared of us turning your children into accepting, caring people, but I see now why you'd have a problem with that. Just like you worried, they'll change their group of friends. You won't approve of where they go at night to protest. But when you'll be disgusted, so gross. when they start finding things online that you've kept far from their sight, like information. Guess what? You'll, You'll still, still be, be alright. Okay, that's exactly what I meant when I first started the video. Parents have a, I would say, a bad habit of keeping their children in the dark. You see, when you do that, what it does to the child, and I actually I talked to my dad about that there on um, one time this year I think I said to my dad dad so so far you've taught me everything in life right my mom my mom too my mom my mom did as well I would say they most likely taught me everything in life and I said but there's one thing you never talked about. Sex. And he's like, yeah, I know. We never had the time to actually sit down and talk about that. Well, I had to learn that somehow. Where did I learn it? On the internet? From other school um, schoolmates, classmates. From other watching other videos on YouTube watching um, people giving lectures in uh, on YouTube about information concerning sex, reading books. Yeah, that's how I learned uh, about sex, is through other people, not through my parents. So 
when parents are trying to prevent their children from I understand they don't want them to become and to go that path but when you are keeping them in the dark that's not doing them, that's not doing them any good at all and of course as they mentioned they do have an agenda is to convert your children because the the, the, the younger they can change their mind the better it is so parents the younger you can expose them to those things by teaching them what the right thing to do by showing them the wrong thing that's going on the better it will be for them not to experience that kind of lifestyle you have to instill in them the willingness to do their own research find out and explain to them this is what's going on and you would hope that basically if you can do it in the best way possible trust me they will listen to you and they will not go out into the world because some of them will try to go out to the world but because of what you had actually taught them they will see it and they will like nope i don't want that and they're gonna stay back and not get into the world but you cannot keep them in the dark by not explaining to them what is going on in the world. But let's move on. I digress. We'll convert your children. Yes, we will. Reaching one and all. There's really no escaping it. Cause even grandma likes RuPaul. And the world's getting kinder. Gen Z's gayer than grinder. Learn to love, learn to vogue, face your fate. We'll convert your children. Someone's gotta teach them not to hate. We're coming for them. As I mentioned earlier, um, <laughs> many people, would, when they hear about the, um, the those type of people, the LGBT group, they are hating on them. No, you're not supposed to hate them. Like I mentioned, you're supposed to hate their lifestyle, not the people. Not the people. Because you know why? If they changed their lifestyle, you would not hate them. You see, you don't hate the murderer. You hate the, you, you hate the fact that that person committed murder. You don't hate the liar. You hate the lie. You don't hate the adulterer. You hate the adulterer. The adultery. So you don't hate homosexuals. You hate homosexuality. You hate the lifestyle. Yeah. It's not the people that you should hate. You should hate the lifestyle. So when a homosexual comes to you and talks to you, you shouldn't look at him or her in a way that means you are not a person. No, they are people. But the same love that you have for other people that believe what you believe, you should also have that same love for them. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable being around them. But to mistreat them because of what they are, no. You hate their lifestyle, not the people. Because guess what? While we were yet sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. But guess what? He hated what we were doing. He hated that we were lying, that we were committing adultery, that we were um, thieves. But not us. He didn't hate us. He hated the sin, not the sinner. So we need to do the same thing too. Don't hate them hate their lifestyle and help them so if possible but let's move on let's move on we're coming for your children
and justice for others. Your children will work to convert all their sisters and brothers. Then soon we're almost certain your kids will start converting you. The gay agenda is coming home. The gay agenda is here. But you don't have to worry. But you don't have to worry. Because there's nothing wrong with standing by our side. Get on board and get a hurry. Because the world always needs a bit more pride. So guys, um, the best way to get to the parents is through the children. I'm sure you guys know that already. You want to get the parents to be doing something, get the children involved into something. You want them to come to the soccer practice, to soccer game, try to get the children to sign up for soccer game and they're going to come too. Because most parents will want to be there for their children. I know a pastor actually, but it's not all people because some parents will not support those things. And if their children were to become that, there will be issues, there will be some consequences for sure, I know. But there is a pastor I know when I was back in school. He has a brother who is part of this uh, lifestyle and the brother was going to get married. And he said, no, he's not coming to the wedding. Because he doesn't support the lifestyle. You see, when you don't support something, something, you need to stand up for it. And the more the parents teach their children, the less this thing can happen. But most parents do not want to teach their children what is going on in the world so when the world teaches the children they are more prone to believe in the world you know what think about it that way the first thing that comes into your mind is what mostly sticks into your brain the yes the first thing that comes into your mind is what mostly sticks to your brain if you let the world teach you first it is what's mostly going to stick into your brain. Parents, be careful because they're coming after your kids too. So, guys, I don't think there's much to say anymore. So, I think you got uh, you got everything you needed to know. So, comment, like, subscribe. This is T O V. The Open Veil TV. Until then, I'm out. <laughs>